guys. So, I'm happy to be making a video for y'all guys today, and it's going to be a tack haul. And if some of y'all aren't familiar with tack, it's like horse things, like bridles and halters and saddle pads and just that kind of stuff. And I have a few things. I don't have very many, but I have a few, and I decided to go ahead and show y'all guys. So, we're going to start off with this lead rope that I got. It's a pink lead rope and it just looks like this and at the front of it it has a chain and and then it's just a pink lead rope and I have a purple halter so I figured that it would look okay with the purple because it was pink and yeah I just got that because I needed another one. On the end this one has a little um plastic thing over it but they when they make the lead ropes they uh, take fire and run over it run over the end of it so it doesn't fray and but on this one they put a little plastic thing on my other lead rope see they did like that on the end of my other one they just I don't know if you can tell but they just ran it's like a plastic thing over the top of it because it burnt it melted it Anyways, my other one, it started coming apart to where I could tear it off, and so I needed another one. I didn't really need one, but I wanted one because it kind of looked tacky. So I just got this one, and pink and purple go together, so yeah. Okay, and then I got this really long lead rope, and if you can tell, it's like really long. And um, what this does is when I have Brownie out since he's in his pen he's eating all the grass in his pen but we give him a bale of hay to where he can just eat off of that and um, he can eat however much he wants off that bale of hay so sometimes I'll take him out um, of his pen with a halter on and I decided with this long lead rope I wouldn't have to stand or have to be with him 24-7 because the halter is shorter. It, it's kind of this size, my other one. So I got a longer one. So when I give him grass, let him eat grass, it will be longer and I won't have to keep walking with him because um, that lead rope's shorter. So I have to make sure he doesn't step on it or he's going to freak out. And then um, because if he steps on it too close his head will pull down and he won't know to pick up his foot so uh, I want a longer one so I don't have to um, worry about that anyways but yeah it's just plain white lead rope and then I got some boots for him and they're called tendon support boots and this is the paper that came with it they just look like this they are these are the front feet uh, small because he has smaller legs so I got the small and I got lime green and you can there's also different kinds these these are just for the tops of his legs but there's also bell boots that'll go right here to protect his hoof I have some of those which they're purple but um, I don't have them right now I just got lime green ones and they look like this and they're velcro. I'll be making another video showing you how to put these on and I also got back ones but they're not the same brand and they're not um, the same color. These are because my grandpa had some left over one time and um, so I, did, I got these and I will probably not be using the back feet but I got them just to show y'all how to put them on the back feet. Um, so these were free because my grandpa gave these to me. These were $59 for the front feet. And I'm guessing these are the same, but I don't know how much this was or whatever. But I got these free. And these are for the back legs. I don't know if I already said this. For the hind. They call them hind legs. Okay, and then my favorite, favorite thing out of this whole entire haul is this saddle pad. It's a tie-dye saddle pad. And it just looks like this. And in the inside, it's black, just like that. And I don't, I don't want to put it on him because I don't want to mess it up. But 
I'm going to because it's going to look so cool. Anyways, it's got these little leather, tan leather type things. They're to line up the saddle. And, um, but you stick this part right here on his withers. But anyways, when you put the saddle pad on, this goes on his withers, this part, and this will go down his backbone. And when you put the saddle on, the bottom part of the saddle will be just a little bit, is supposed to be just a little bit above uh, this part right here on both sides, because they have them on both sides. But yeah, I will teach you all of that in another video. But that's my favorite thing. It's just really colorful and soft, and I, I don't know, I really like it. And yeah, but that's everything I got, and I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. I'm going to be making more horse videos today, so you will probably see me in this shirt again, and the same hair. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye! Used to be a baby, used to be a lady, thought you were the perfect lover.